let's do the selection sort algorithm now in selection sort you are given an array let's say you are given an array of items and let's say the items are 5 1 4 2 8 so these are all an array of items and uh, all these items in an array will have associated indices so these are so these are the associated indices now let's say the array name is a now if you want to get it sorted i will always assume that i'm sorting it in ascending order now the selection sort algorithm says that at any given position let's say if i take this position and name it as position i then i will place the minimum from i to end i will place the minimum at index 0 or uh, or at index i since you were sorting all the items in ascending order you have to place them in such a way that the first minimum is at index 0 second minimum is at index 1 and so on right in order to do that once you you have picked a position let's say a position i which is index 0 now you have to iterate through all the other positions and keep comparing whatever is the minimum value you just keep comparing all the, the the minimum value right what will be the minimum value if you start comparing from zero to four one so you have one and now that one has to be placed at the ith index yeah now you cannot just save the value one because if you save the value one you don't know where that index is hmm. in this case it just turned out that one is at index one but it could have been any other value like it could have been zero as well so we have to uh, save the index not the value because uh, it is just the same logic that if you know someone's address then you can access that that person right you can reach to that person but if, if i tell you that uh, i mean if i tell you the name of the person you will not be able to locate them unless you know the address of them right Otherwise, you will have to search through all the addresses. So in the similar way, like let's say that I want to swap this 5 with 2. Now, I cannot just uh, use any function to swap 5 with 2. I will have to search through where the 2 is present. Instead of uh, saying I want to swap 5 with 2, if I say that I want to swap the value at index 0 with value at index 3, then I exactly know what uh, where to look at, right? Without searching for them. So using the same logic we will be storing the address and not the actual value by address you can also access the actual value but if you just have the value you cannot uh, i mean access the address right you cannot have get the index if i give you the value fine so what will be the implementation of so for every number uh, we have to check from the next number and find the minimum okay so yeah I mean that is the or, simple way to do it so let's say that we are starting with uh index zero and we will go to index um what index n minus one i will n say minus one n. because if all if the n minus one elements are placed then the nth element will definitely be at its correct position correct. right yes so i will do i plus plus here so this will be like if i say i equals to zero then this means that i want the minimum value at this index zero so for that to happen i will assume that the ith index is the mean index so mean index equals i let's just assume that okay and then i will search only to the right hand side not on the left hand side the left hand side i will assume that they are already sorted so i won't look at them so if i assume it in that way then i will take another loop j which will start from one. i plus one and j will go till n in steps of size one right yes and then inside this loop we have to compare if array at min index is greater than array at j this means that uh that the jth index is hosting a smaller value holding a smaller value right so in that case in we index, will update the min index min index equals to j and when we come outside of this loop then the min index will be holding whatever is the minimum value index and so we will we can simply use the swap function whatever you have in your language we can use that we have to swap the value a at i with a at min index right 
and if initially a at i would have holded the smallest value then these two index indices will be same and the value will not be changed we will just move ahead right so is this code clear like how, yes. how it is written and then uh, so simply if it runs then the min index value in the first go will be equals to one and i value is zero so it will swap this one with five right and now your i will become i plus plus which is index one now starting from index one it will search for the minimum element only to the right not to the left because that is already sorted so now you will find that the min index is three so swap this two with five here and then again you will move on to the next element and for this you will only search on the right hand side not on the left hand side right so if you search in this way for the first item for the first index or index zero you will be uh, searching to the right n minus one items for the second item you uh, which is index one you will be searching for n minus two items and so on uh, you will be searching for the last item one item for the second last index right isn't it so the total number of searches which you are doing is n minus one plus n minus two and so on you are adding till one which is the sum of first n minus one natural numbers which will be n minus one into n by two and if you i had said that in the time complexity session that if you convert that to n square minus n by two you drop this out and you drop out the lower polynomial and uh, you will be getting n square right so what will be a uh, worst case input like there is no worst case or best case here because in in either of the cases it is just traversing through all the leftover elements to the right okay so every time it is doing the same number of computation so it is not uh optimized for, uh, and it is like you can say that it is not dependent on the nature of input i would like to announce about our dsa live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept it makes you interview ready in just three months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can all the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class in order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number